Photography is a medium that can help us connect and communicate with landscapes. The surface of the image acts as a liminal window that transcends time and opens us to the very depths of our being. My practice is to explore our relationship with the earth beneath our feet and engage the viewer in a dialogue with place. I begin with walking and spending time with the land, learning to move with its topography and sense its unique character. My focus is in healing our broken relationship with the natural world and, as Nan Shepherd eloquently expresses, allowing place and mind to interpenetrate till the nature of both is altered. Britain's landscape has suffered a long history of abuse caused by unsustainable practices such as the overuse of resources, building development and war. Over many years, I have continually returned to the landscape of Old Winchester Hill, which, although now a national nature reserve and site of special scientific interest, was used by the British Army as a mortar testing range. In considering this, I am reminded of such images as Roger Fenton's The Valley of the Shadow of Death, and, as a photographer with an arts-based degree, how he chose to manipulate and compose his images in order to convey the messages he wished to portray. More recently, work by photographers such as Mark Wilson impacts our psyche by showing us the subtle layers of time and human impact from my experience of spending time within damaged landscapes. It is clear they hold past trauma and a felt energy that expresses this. Modern living and a consumerist lifestyle has ruptured our relationship with nature, but I believe that within us stirs the desire to reconnect to the land. It's time to change the way we live by dethroning our human-centric perspectives and consumer-focused society. My work is not simply a commentary upon landscape, but instead a direct collaboration with the land itself through the medium of photography and sound attuning the senses to something immeasurably ancient and beyond time. In the spirit of the wilderness vigil, I spend periods of deep immersion of hours or even days through which my thoughts and feelings settle into the ground and I enter a state of altered perception. This is something that has been practiced for many thousands of years by shamans, druids and witches who were once respected across our lands. During these periods of isolation, the camera becomes not just a witness to experience, but a window between worlds. With patience and heartfelt observation, the land becomes my muse and an ancient energy awakens within me. In the same way as our ancestral elders held vision quests, my images are channeled from an external reality into the world of photographs. Over time, I have built an intimate practice methodology which allows the spirit to place to be revealed. My methods range from digital photography, videography and cameraless techniques. Through an investigative approach, I aim to achieve the following. Low environmental impact, such as secondhand equipment or sustainable printing. Images created in ways that allow unpredictability, such as low light or alternative process. Normal modes of perception are interrupted or challenged, and that we reflect upon our relationship with place. My use of contact printing and alternative processes, such as botanical toning, are often symbolic and ceremonial in nature. They act as a direct connection with the land, a window between the world of thought and measure with that of imagination and deep time. The work of Susan Burgess has been an inspiration to me and I resonate with her words when she says, I wanted to visualize the idea of threshold where one would be on the edge of two interconnected worlds, one an internal, imaginative or contemplative space and the other an external, dynamic, magical world of nature. My approach to photographing landscapes is to think outside the box-like limitations of the camera obscura and shift and challenge our perceptions. The camera becomes a method for recording not just light and dark, but the known and unknown, 
seen and unseen. Time is an essential element in the creation of my work, and just like the slow and thoughtful process of traditional painting, my photographs step outside the fast capture of modern image making. An understanding of colour psychology and mythological symbolism are also an important aspect of my visual language. For example, my cyanotype prints make a connection to the use of woad in the Iron Age, and the recurring use of red, black and white symbolise the process of severance, descent and return, often explored in folklore and storytelling. Working in the liminal hours between day and night, I gaze into the darkness, allowing my camera to become a bridge between worlds. Whereas photographers such as Stephen Gill in his work Night Procession leave field cameras within the landscape but most commonly present in book format, I personally spend time within the landscape and in works such as Hearthside create immersive experiences within contexts such as gallery spaces. Further to this, concepts of photographs being able to act as windows into the soul are similarly expressed in how Adam Fuss's work alerts us to the existence of our inner shadow and can be seen as a means of locating it. His images act as reminders and draw us towards light, so embedded in the primary language of photography as an explicit metaphor for spiritual illumination. I see my work as an unravelling of the psyche and an opening to the wisdom of root, fur and wing. It is an invitation to deep inner change. The storyteller, Martin Shaw, speaks of tales of the wild twin, our shadow self, who is cast out to the forest at birth. He says, in relation to the human condition, I believe that in the labour of becoming a human, you have to earnestly search this character out, as it has something crucial for you. It has your life's purpose tucked up in its pocket. If there is something you are able to do in these few brief years, you can be sure that the wild twin is holding the key. The wilderness helps us to shed the mind main layers until we reach a more tender heart felt centre. This is a deep personal journey that explores our universal kinship with the natural world. It is a brave wandering to the forest of the heart and dark depths of the mind. My photographs represent our loss of connection with nature-based spirituality. Forests are home of fairy tale and myth, where stories are born and lessons learned. A place where we begin to ask ourselves, what part of us have we exiled to the forest? What have we closed our eyes to? And what becomes visible when the lights go out? Where the land is my muse, images are like poems that give space for meaning to arise from our own psyche. The things unsaid and unseen become of great importance.